China announces they've got all these AI drones that are autonomous and all these AI weapon systems to direct their aircraft. So, so what I'm telling you is China has no rules. 20 years ago, they had cows that produced human milk. 20 years ago, they had spiders that produced body armor, spider goats, okay? They have human-animal hybrids 30 years ago. They've got giant human tissue farms. You know, you hear, oh, your, your Achilles is torn. We've got a grown in a lab, a tendon. It's not a frickin' tendon grown in a lab. It's a frickin' a deal a humanoid. These aren't humans. The way they get around it is they wait make a minute, them, Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're, we're, we're saying so many things. This is, listen, I love you to death. But you say I bet you so $10 million many dollars different humanoids things. Are real. I believe they are. But you say so many different things without stopping. It's hard because for I'm reporting to, to the government agency, so they'll listen and investigate. I'm decompartmentalizing. Okay, but this will be studied for years. So what? <laughs> no, what I'm I telling you, is, you, I believe Joe, you, Joe, I believe Joe, you. Joe, Joe, Joe. Yes, Joe. It was in MIT Quarterly 25 years ago that they had human animal embryos, but they killed them at the embryonic level. I you can pull it up. Let's no, expand. I believe they've this. got humanoids. I believe this. I mean, they look, they have already used CRISPR to enhance children with they've higher intelligence. And yes, in China, well, it was actually it was a side effect. They believe of it making boost their intelligence. HIV. It was something about HIV, immune to HIV. Joe. Joe. Yes. Everything 100%. they roll out has already been tested. Oh, I believe you. But it has an aim. So let me tell you what's really going on. The globalists want to play God. They have what they call a breakaway civilization. So instead of talking about the breakaway civilization, I want to talk about Sandy Hook, which I get, and I appreciate you letting me cover, and I'm sorry it ever happened. I believed it happened. I'm sorry for people's pain. And then I ask the families, and I ask the, the, the lawyers, and I ask them all, stop in my name, saying I'm the wolf at the door, saying go after these families, and stop running around through the news everywhere saying Alex Jones says Sandy Hook didn't happen. Because the media, well, about the media the is the most unpopular thing in the world with 7% approval rating in Gallup. So when they say that I say it's fake, that sends people to Connecticut because people think the media lies. Right. So if they're saying Alex Jones said it didn't happen, it must have not happened, and now they're trying to create a violent event not the families, but I think some of the people involved know that if they make a big enough hype about it, they're going to have a big event up there in Connecticut, you understand? And they're going to blame it on me. So I'm saying, no, no, no. I believe it happened. Stop saying I said it didn't happen. And stop saying that I'm saying no kids died. Because I want to talk about human-animal hybrids and humanoids. Because, Joe, why has it got to be a humanoid? Why? Because if you make it a few percentage points, another uh, animal or another creature, it's a gray area. There's no human rights. You have an animal rights movement. You have a human rights movement. There's no alien movement. Right. Aliens are real. They're creating human-animal hybrids that are a new creature, never here on Earth. It's alien. So the aliens are already here. AI is alien. The chimeras are alien. Aliens are already here. So you're saying they're making these human-animal hybrids so they can, what, harvest tissue from them? That's just level one. What's level two? What's level eight? Because a lot, I'll tell you, a lot, for the best of my knowledge, a lot of people think, oh, it's, it's, it's human harvesting of Falun Gong or these Buddhists are really healthy. That's big. That's going on because they still have a, a better non-rejection rate. But with the chimeras, I remember 22 years ago reading a BBC article that was kind of testing the waters. They occasionally test it. And they go, oh, yeah, uh, about 15 years ago, the first animal, human chimeras were made in test tubes. They were not brought to term. But some scientists want to implant them in utero and cows because obviously that's a bigger uterus. You can grow up a bigger humanoid and get more tissue. And so then I went, I better go research that. So I went to UT Library at that time. You could get some on the internet in like 1996. And I went and actually pulled up all these MIT reports. And I took them to my dad and other people who's a doctor. And they go, yeah, that's really crazy. And it was all about how we've got to prepare the public for this because we're going to be able to download their memories and then put it in a new body. This is before Blade Runner. So see, it's not like this is the, well, the world's not imitating Blade Runner. Blade Runner is a preparation for what's coming. And they're telling you, more human than human, this is going to be more advanced. This is going to be better. But like everything, like a cell phone or like a vaccine, it's got a Trojan horse. It's got a back door. It's already been tested. It's already been perfected. It's being rolled out. You're not given the real technology. You're not given the real life extension. You're given the crap, Joe. And the earth is seen as like an egg yolk to give the propulsion power for this new thing that's going to be born. And whether you believe that or not, just like when... The he, new thing meaning artificial intelligence? Beyond that. It's beyond a fusion that. of artificial intelligence and a whole synthesis of new life forms. 
And so that's the big giant race when Elon Musk came in and told you, because he goes to these billionaire functions and he has a conscience, so he's freaked out. And they go to these billionaire functions. I don't just know this. I've talked to people. And I was in Wired Magazine 20-something years ago, Why the Future Doesn't Need Us, Bill Joy, a billionaire, co-owner of Sun Microsystems. He goes to a billionaire meeting with 200 guys, and the consensus was, we're not going to let people play video games and party all day. We're going to set up a world government. We're going to slowly titrate the dose and poison the public, dumb them down, put electromagnetic radiation out with 5G that scrambles their DNA, lowers their IQ. We're going to cause mass mental illness and a controlled societal collapse that will then be organized and controlled in the mop-up crew by robots, controlled by the globalist programmers who believe with the off-world entities they're in communication with that they're going to be given the uh, operation to upload and be in that larger kind of Borg cube system okay, hit if, the they, brakes. if they sell the country out. You got to hit the brakes because we need to we take this back to it. I'm so baffled. What's the matter? I, I Googled Jamie? one of these things. MIT, MIT Technology Review estimates that about 20 pregnancies of pig human or sheep human chimeras have been established during the last 12 months in the U.S. This Total white wash. Listen, 2016. I, I 100% believe it. Look, I think that This was going on in 1985. I'm sure. They tried to recruit my dad to a DARPA program. I believe that. In college, and then when he was a dentist. I believe that. I believe that they will take all sorts of liberties in gray They're areas when it comes to scientific